All right, Daniel, I want to talk about money and time wasted over the years on alcoholism. But first, to you, the viewer, I want to ask you if you're watching on YouTube to go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell notification, leave a comment. All of your engagements really help us to reach more people. Or if you prefer the Spotify platform, it's a video podcast there as well. Follow the show on Spotify and leave a rating there. That would really mean a lot to us. And also check us out on social media. We're posting short reels on all the platforms every day, sometimes twice a day, behind the scenes stuff, clipping stuff up, trying to be entertaining for you. So give us a follow on your favorite social media platform. We're on all of them, even Facebook. And personally, I want to let you know that if you are struggling with addictions of any kind in your life, you're in the right place because the Sober Squad is a supportive community about honesty and integrity and fun. And if you're just looking for some entertainment, I think we might have you covered. So Daniel, let's talk about money. How much have you spent approximately over the years? Yeah. <clears throat> Drinking consistently since I was 21. We'll just go from 21. I started when I was 20, but we'll just say 21. So we're talking about 23 years. And I did an average of $20 a day over the sum total of those days. I went nine months without drinking back when I was 30. I've taken some breaks here and there, no more than no more than a month at a time. And those were extremely rare. Some days it was $100. When I went to visit Kenny in Norway, I was spending over $100 a night because beer is so expensive there. Right, so you have peaks, peaks and valleys. And valleys. When we were just slumming it up at Colonel Summers Park with a Frisbee, you know, and I had like a case of Miller High Life, hams, Pabst Blue Ribbon, whatever those things, you know. I mean, even so, those were like, you know, a case of those is going to be at least $15. So anyway, I averaged it out to $20 a day. Sometimes I'd go out to shows and yeah. spend a whole bunch of money and start buying people drinks. You know, you know what happens. You know what happens. You get a couple of drinks in you. You just got paid. All of a sudden, you know, you want to buy your friends around. You know what happens. Anyway, $20 a day. Um, since um, I was 21, it's at least $160,000. 160000 dollars Yeah. Okay, that's that's an average. Uh, how do you feel about that? Because what's what comes up for me is like, what could I have spent that on over the years? Sure. I could have invested it in the sure. stock market. What, how do you feel about that? Um, I, I think I may have said this before. I don't have any regrets. No regrets. I have no regrets. I don't beat myself up. I don't look back on it and just be like, oh God, like what have I done? You know, I was never, you know, that way. And I wouldn't have had all the experiences that I experienced who make me who I am today, who, you know, I'm more willing to be in service of humble service to humanity than ever before. And it took all of that. So I invested $160,000 into who I am today. I'm inclined to agree with you because what comes up for me with that is this, how do I say it? You might say it better than me, but, um, undoubtedly. Yeah. <laughs> the experiences that I have now I'm speaking more for myself. Um, the, 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 the pain and the confusion and, and the fear and the suffering, all of that that came with me for alcoholism, um, gave me the experience to where now I'm in it because I do want to like relate with other people and help them if I can. Yeah. I have the experience to be like when somebody, exactly. when I'm talking to somebody, right. like any of the viewers in the comments and the messages, like yeah. they come at me with their experience of hardships. I'm like, I feel you. And that's true. I know where you're coming from. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. And we can be there for those people. Just like, <clears throat> um, not anybody can just like jump right into a position where you can help other people who have had addictive problems coming from a wide range of, of addictions. You couldn't get some sober person that doesn't have any experience with it, who has no idea what it's like to go in and start helping people. I'm thinking of like some rich kid who went to like Yale or whatever, became a therapist right. and then says, hmm, I've read in the books that this could help you. Right, exactly. <laughs> and I mean, you show up on a construction site, first day at work, and you start doing the apprenticeship work. You know, you start picking up nails and you start doing these kinds of things. 
and eventually you're going to get to, going to get to the point where the master crafts people can begin teaching you. While they went through all of that to be able to teach you, they couldn't teach you that if they didn't go through all of that. So we have gone through all of this so that we can offer our experience, our empathy, our compassion. So through the Sober Squad community, when people are coming to a place where they're ready for recovery and a new chapter in their life. We've acquired a lot of tools and we are yeah. beginning to acquire even more tools uh, on this, um, I think, newfound path of uh, more of a permanent sobriety. More of a, definitely, like there's no going back. I remember, now we're talking years ago, back in our early 20s, we were having a coffee at Stumptown, downtown Portland, Oregon. We were hanging out on the sidewalk in the morning, hungover. It was a partially cloudy day. We were smoking and drinking our coffee. And you said something like, this is, I can't keep doing this. This has got to stop. <laughs> I don't, you don't remember that? No, I mean, that must have been like upwards of... Well, 18 that, years ago. Yeah. Yep, definitely. Uh, I Now, I don't have a good memory, but I do have some memories, and that was one of them. Like, And I was agreeing with you. I was like nodding my head because I was hungover. I was like, yeah. I mean, even then, because we went into alcohol hard, and uh, the, the mornings could be rough, and you said, oh, man, we just got to stop. And that was back then. And it got even worse. I mean, you remember that time we were... We had gotten some coke from you know who, and um, we had been hanging out with you know scale day. Our oh God! Friend from Japan who came oh, into no. town. He had 18 hours in Portland to hang out, and so we we're like, "All right, let's do it." So I bought a bunch of coke. I had never done coke before, and we were up. Almost all night. I think we got two hours of sleep. I woke everybody up the next morning. We were like scattered on whatever beds and couches in the floor. And I woke everybody up. I was like, come on, get the fuck up. We got to go. Like, you know, Ske has only a few hours left. And we went up um, Hawthorne to that like hot dog joint that had a ping pong table past 39th. Did even more, blah, blah, blah. Took, you know, Ske to the airport. He pukes getting out of the cab. I don't know how we made it through customs. He got home. You and I continued to like go home. We got on the train, went home, and we were up until sunrise. We woke up the next morning, record temperature, hottest day of the year. We were in the attic of this apartment building with no air conditioning. <laughs> and we were just like the worst, low, lowly, lowliest excuse of like a human body. I think we woke up at like 5 p.m. It was something like that. I remember crawling across the floor and turning on the box fan <laughs> just laying in front of the box fan trying to get sober enough to go get more beer <laughs> oh god that's another expense you know it was like sometimes there's that like you know all of a sudden you want to do coke we've never done coke since then i haven't yeah well so for financials you say one hundred and sixty thousand average um according to your ballpark estimate mine is probably the same so as far as my contribution to this section, like I'm just going to attach on to you like a remora onto a shark. Yeah. And, and uh, feed off of that. Yeah, that's what it was. And yeah, there have been thoughts where like, oh, if I had just been putting $20 a day aside, but what do I, I wouldn't have been. Yeah. So uh, i stoked about it. Yeah. My contribution to this, because my financials are about the same as like I mentioned time also wasted in quotation marks gotcha um i want to mention to you the viewer real quick here that there's an app called i am sober and i highly recommend it the link will be in the description you should check it out it's for android and ios and what the, they got a lot of really cool features in there they got a free version uh, one of the features is tracking how much money you would have you start your sober date in there and it spits out some financial stuff for you how much you spent over the years on alcohol but also how much time you spent in association with that lifestyle. And so I punched in something like, for me, time wasted yeah. in associating with alcoholism was something like three hours a day as an estimate. Oh God. Because, you know, like it more or less. And so it, I forget what the number is off the top of my head because it's on my phone that I'm filming on. But um, it was something like over the years for like 15, 20 years, I'd say it was 
over 500 hours or something, probably more, but you get the idea. So that sure. when you look at it like that, like instead of, oh, it was just three hours last night, but over time, like yeah. 500 <clears throat> hours, like what could I have done with that? So and it, again, I don't, I don't regret almost any of those hours. To me, it's not time wasted because I, I think so much of the time I was productive and I was gaining experience and just like becoming more and more of who I was going to be. So I don't regret any of those. Um, except for, I would say probably over the last, um, couple of years, it just got to the point where well, that's what I, was gonna I say. couldn't read anymore. No, that's you know, what I was going to say. I can't read. I can't do research. You're talking about our twenties and thirties. And and I'm like, I can't, I can barely read the handwriting cause I'm like fucking drunk and just like scrawling. And that's different. But over the last like couple of years, especially it's like when I start drinking at nighttime, it's like watching stupid ass movies. Yeah. That's all I can do. Right. So that's time wasted. Why don't you go to bed? Exactly. I could have gone to bed, but you know, you're just like, no, I just need to get like just a little bit more drunk. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, I get it. Uh, no regrets. Um, there's nothing to do about fretting about the past or worrying about the future. The present moment is where we're at. I'm actually, like you, grateful for all the experiences and moving forward. 